Hi, welcome to the Ruben channel. Today's video is a sign painting project my family and I took on here in my Montague neighborhood just outside of Nashville. There are three signs in the neighborhood and two other families adopted the other two. Our neighborhood association decided during this quarantine time it was a great time to give our sign some attention. As you can see here, I'm using 120 grit sandpaper to sand the entire surface of the sign. I also used a medium grit sanding sponge that helped get into the grooves of the sign. Uh, as well, I used a wire brush to get into areas that the sandpaper or the sanding sponge didn't get. As you can see, it's a pretty gnarly wood grain, very uneven surface. So I used my blower to blow all the dust off. Don't worry folks, no leaded paint here. The products I used are from Sherwin-Williams. The black and white colors I used emerald polyurethane trim paint. Very excellent exterior product. For the tree, there's three greens and I used the Resilience product. Another uh, excellent exterior product. I painted the black, all the black first. Two coats on everything. The 4x4 posts and the pineapple finials. Uh, I cut in the frame, the black frame around the sign. Uh, I didn't worry about cutting in too tight. I tried to keep it as neat as possible. I didn't bother taping because the grain is so gnarly on the wood, it's hard to get a straight line. So just uh, I just freehanded it. And there you can see my son finishing up the black trim. For the white background, I put two coats on there and with a half inch nap roller. You can see I also caulked some of the cracks in the 4x4 posts. Probably not necessary, but made it look better. For all the raised portions of the sign, the lettering, the lines, the arrows, and the tree, I used a foam roller. It's hard not to get paint on the background, but you just come in and touch that up later. You do the best you can on that. Um, we also used the foam roller to roll out the raised portion of that tree. You can see that foam roller there. My son came back in with his study hand and painted the inserts of the tree, the different greens. You can see right there the before and the after. And then my wife came in and touched up the tree and the entire sign to finish it up very nicely. A fun project that took us about 10 hours total time start to finish. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.